Let's just listen to their reception. Okay, so the crowd are anticipating uh, some arrival. David, as a player, you've done this. You've stood on a first tier to ride a cup. I imagine it's grown in size since your experience, but what are oh, they Here they doing? come, here they come. Standing ovation. You get the goosebumps, you get the chills in a situation like this. Uh, to realize you have so many thousands of people cheering for you starting the chance again uh, it, it's just uh, a remarkable feeling that one you'll never forget JT gets this doesn't he top points earner in Paris by the way despite the loss we should make mention of how well he played 4-1-0 just losing that one foursomes match with Jordan Spieth when they came up against a very hot pairing of course in Mollywood Francesco Molinari who's not here this week but Tommy Fleetwood who is for the Europeans You talk about tomorrow morning, David, and the, the very slim chance of seeing Bryson DeChambeau out of morning foursomes. There is, I expect, a very high chance that we see Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth. They will be out, and they might be out quite early. <laughs> like first? <laughs> like first. Well, they're uh, staggering their entrance here on the first tee, but this is what the Ryder Cup is all about. It it's a stage. It's a show. Along with, along with the most exceptional pressure-packed golf you'll ever see, uh, in the game it is absolutely a show you've got to you've got to play the crowd especially when you're at home and, and it's so partisan and david how amazing is it to feel like you can pull the puppet strings of the crowd <laughs> well, i mean like that is doing. that is the beauty of it the entertainment of it that's why so many of these players they talk about i want to entertain the crowd they, they love it uh, they don't need to work as hard as we've seen the europeans do because they're their own home crowd <laughs> okay so Jim Furyk's getting things going with the USA chant here is Phil Mickelson unsurprising David to see Phil Mickelson shepherding Bryson DeChambeau here this week yeah not surprising at all they uh, spend a lot of time together in practice rounds uh, exchanging ideas that most of us probably don't understand <laughs> can't comprehend <laughs> talking in a what might seem like a foreign language but uh you know bryson's fascinating i love spending time with him in 18 uh, around the golf course and around the room uh, i really like the guy uh i love how he is looking at it because it's, it, it, it can teach you things uh you can learn from it and realize that there's an entirely different new way to see things it's cool to see Jim Furyk in this role. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we might be getting some goodies. Steve Stricker has a, a little air cannon, huh? <laughs> <laughs> And that is Zach Johnson on the left, another one of Steve's assistant captains. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know, T-shirts? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> Be careful, I shoot them over the stands. <laughs> but it's worth taking a step back and reminding ourselves and all of our viewers with us today, that it's Thursday. This is still a practice round. Uh, imagine what this scene is going to be like. We're going to be live on the air, by the way, 6 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow morning, bringing you all the build up to this first tee. It's going to be cool and, and dark, but the atmosphere is going to be as good as ever. There's Bryson. Do you think any part of this is coming from what they learned no. the Europeans doing yesterday? I don't think so. I mean, if it, uh, you know, I know Dave brought up the fact that he's shocked or surprised that, that Steve didn't know. Uh, he probably knew, at least had an inkling, and certainly expected it. He might not have known what they were going to do. Uh, but Steve expected stuff like that, especially when you get on, on, on foreign soil like the Europeans are here playing against the USA. Um, you know, this is just all a part of it but the thing is for this partisan crowd they don't need to do it this is just a, a, a bonus um, well and I think it, there's benefit in the for the players more than the, the crowd somehow becoming more endeared to the United States team I mean 
this is a potentially a once in a lifetime event for some arrived and Scotty Scheffler who will be the other two in this practice grouping USA! USA! sounds like choir practice has gone well <laughs> <laughs> they all know their parts Yeah, it's fun to see. That's why this is so unique. It comes usually once every two years, and it is nothing like anything we experience in the game of golf. So we're going to have this for a while because this is the first of three practice groups we expect. And.